Start your engine. Welcome to part 2 of the FX speed versus accuracy test. Today we're going to look at the JSP's 15.89 grainer as well as some um, 26 grain slugs. Enjoy the show. I've got a funny feeling these babies are going to fly like white lightning out of the battle. That's the 16 grainer on the left hand side, the 25 grainer on the right hand side. The right hand side looks almost like a set pole. You just want to show it up somewhere, but that thing's got the knocking power of a proper, proper gun. That is also my hunting pallet. So I haven't shot these light pallets before in the FX. This is the Jumbos, 16 or 15.89 grains. I'm just gonna aim center and see what happens. Um, this gun hasn't been zeroed for these babies at all. Power level one. I'm not going to push those pallets any further. They are currently running at 1,076 feet a second. I'm not going to put it up to max. It makes a hell of a noise. It sounds like I'm shooting with a 2 2 rimfire that with the silencer on. I can already see at this speed that these pallets are starting to open up on 32 yards and they're not accurate at all at these speeds. This is the JSB 15.89 grainer in 5.5. Um, they are running on power setting 1 at 980 feet a second, on power setting 4 they were clipping 1070 feet a second. I decided not to test it on power level 5 or on max as we will be running in excess of 1100 feet a second. I can already see on power setting 4 that these pallets are starting to spray and it's just not safe to shoot on 5 or on max. The JSPs was actually running very consistent, but the moment you go up to a thousand feet per second, they started to open up on the grouping, and I won't shoot them at these speeds. All right, so this is the challenge if you're having too much fun. Guess what I found? Yes, babies, it's hollow point slugs. These babies are 26 grainers. I don't have a heck of a lot of them, but I'm gonna run them through the same power settings, and I hope to get some real fun with this. I don't expect these guys to group on the lower power settings, but definitely here from power setting 4, 5 or max, I expect some decent, decent grouping. Guys, this FX radar is working like a charm today. It hasn't missed a single shot yet. And I'm now onto my last uh, test patch. These are the slugs. Slug, power setting 1. Power setting two. Power setting three. Power setting four. Power setting five. Oh my greatness, but I had a lot of fun on this one. We have some technical issues just to freshen things up a little bit. So on group number five, those four very close ones there, that was again when I had some air in the gun and it was above the rig. On the maximum power, it sprayed a little bit, which was surprising to me, because that was running around about 930 feet a second, right on the sweet spot of these 16 grain slugs. Overall, 
On 25 meters, eh, the gun does not like slow speeds with the slugs and that's a 700 mm slug liner inserted. Looking at the data, I'm not that impressed. There's a lot of variance within the slugs when it comes to speed. And I can also see that pulling through to the groupings. There's no real brilliant groupings here. The results was quite surprising with the best grouping happening at 882 feet per second with only one flyer there. The rest of the groupings had too many flyers to really be of any real value. The final results were quite shocking but also interesting. Um, I was really hoping that the slugs would be the hands down winner but it looked like the JSB redesign was the hands down winner for this exercise. I will have to redo everything but this time at longer distances hopefully at 50 meters and 75.